I will give them maybe five minutes. The four normal looking young men were brought in one by one at about 10.45 a.m. to face the media for the first time since they were arrested. And what an extraordinary story they had to tell. The four are suspected for planning, facilitating and executing the July 11th bomb attacks that claimed 76 lives. It's a it's here, stand up. Suspect number one, 33-year-old Issa Mohamed Luima, a senior six-liver resident in Kawempe, was first trained in Mogadishu in 2009 by the Al-Shabaab. He was once arrested in Kenya and deported. He allegedly recruited the other accomplices and identified the safe house where the bombers stayed. So I told them, if at all they could help me carry that, this two suicide bombers we had to their final destinations. And one, my brother, I requested him that maybe he, he, he will carry the other suicide vest that was placed in a laptop bag to match in the house and detonate it with a phone. Suspect number two, that year old Idris Nsubuga may be emotional now. But the man who calls himself the evil man allegedly detonated the first bomb at Chad on the rugby club. Their main target were Americans and Ugandans who were having fun. Ironically, he lost an aunt in a blast that he triggered. Idris and his leader Issa Luima first surveyed and checked out the Ethiopian village and Chad on the rugby grounds on 25th June. On July 11th, Subuga first watched a match at Sherry's Bar in Kabalagala with a Kenyan suicide bomber before moving to the Ethiopian village after security at Sherry's Bar became tighter. The UPDF spokesman, Lieutenant Colonel Felix Kulaije, was also a target at one time, but was spared because blowing him up may not have created a big impact. I called a friend just to relieve myself of tension. And I had just finished talking to that friend a few minutes past. And that's when the first blast went off. It did scare me. And I grabbed, I reached in my pocket, pulled out the other phone, and called that number. The second blast went off. I didn't want to be called a traitor. Suspect number three, 27 year old Hassan Haruna Luima. He was assigned to blow up Hakuna Matata Bar in Makinde by his brother Isa Ahmed Luima. He was told. He was doing it for the good of Muslims suffering in Palestine and other parts of the world. He spent a night with the bombers and brought them their last meal, lunch in the afternoon on 11th July. But he chickened out of his assignment at Makinde. I realized my mistake and changed my mind. For two mistakes, one was greater than the other. Suspect number four, and the youngest is Mugisha Muhammad, 24 year old. He was part of the five Ugandans under the command of Swale Naban, an Al Shabaab killed by the UPDF in Somalia. Mugisha is an Al Qaeda and joined in 2008. He was trained for three months in Kismayu and promised a job in Dubai. His first assignment was to identify a safe house, but he failed in the task. I rented a house next to Minister Nankamira in Nakulabi. This location, my boss has disliked it. The four suspects say there are many more Al-Shabaab and Al-Qaeda agents in Nairobi and Somalia. But CMI boss Brigadier James Mujira said the search is on for more suspects. If they think they can kill Ugandans here and get away with it, we have the capacity to hunt them down wherever they go. The four suspected masterminds of the deadly Kampala bombings have confessed to having participated in the attacks. 
the big question that remains, will the families of the dead or even those that survive forgive the confessing suspects? Sdilbiar Hanga, NTV, Kampala.